Hi, I am Meng He with Cypress Semiconductor, and today I would like to introduce the PSAC1 LCD segment drive solution with our universal CapSense controller board. This kit highlights PSAC1's flexible analog and digital capability in parallel with the capacitive sensing buttons and sliders. This kit is also available online today on Cypress.com. Now let's take a look at what comes inside. This is a universal CapSense controller board for PSAC1 devices. The kit comes with USB cable, mini proc, and an I2C to USB bridge. This board supports external 12 volts power supply or 9 volts battery input. It also supports fixed 5 volts or adjustable voltage for PSAC. ICE interface for in circuit debugging mini programmer interface, UART interface, LEDs that indicate power status, external oscillator option, and multiple test points. These two connection headers here allows users to plug in various extension boards for various project developing. In this case, we will plug in an LCD extension board and a CapSense linear slider module board. As you can see, the only thing on this LCD extension board is the LCD glass. There are no other discrete components. No external resistors or capacitors are needed. The other board highlighted Cypress's capacitive sensing solution. On this board, there are five capacitive sensing buttons and 10 element touch sensing linear slider with the corresponding indicator LEDs. Here is a PSOC Designer project. PSOC Designer allows users to view the resource on chip at the digital and analog block level. Each of these digital blocks is an 8-bit resource that may be used alone or combined with the other blocks to form 8, 16, 24, and 32-bit peripherals. The analog system includes one 10-bit SAR ADC and six reconfigurable analog blocks that allows creating complex analog signal flows. The two blocks in the middle are the capacitive sensing blocks that support up to 37 touch sensing buttons. The LCD direct driving, CapSense buttons, and real-time clock are implemented in this project. And here it shows all the user modules used in this project. Let's see just how easy is it to configure your CapSense elements with CapSense wizard. The wizard opens showing the numeric entry boxes for the number of sensors and the number of slider sensors. To match switches to pins, right-click the switch and drag it onto any available pins. You may see either on the chip pin assignment view or the table pin assignment view for this operation. Now you can see the four buttons are assigned to pin 1.3, pin 3.3, pin 2.1, and pin 2.3. By clicking the switch, you can also select it and adjust its settings. Now the LCD is displaying the time by hour and minute. By touching the CapSense buttons, I can adjust the hour and minutes number. And the LED is indicating the buttons at the same time. I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough of our new PSOC1 Universal CapSense Controller Kit. To learn more about this kit, or take online training, please visit cypress.com. Thank you for watching.